Hello, this is Mr. Beck, and this tutorial has to do with uh, the delay sensor. This uh, information was brought to me once again by a student in my class, seventh grader named Parker. Uh, he said, hey, Mr. Beck, check this out, and uh, it's definitely good information, and it might help your game out. So um, that's one of the nice things about teaching uh, this particular software is, you know, I learn as much as I, I teach uh, anytime I do a unit like this. So right now we've got our object here and when I launch it the projectile basically hits our scene and then it'll stay there um, forever, right? Um, we're gonna make it disappear after a certain amount of time using the delay sensor. So here's my projectile right here, okay? And I'm gonna make sure it's selected. Then I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna add a sensor and we're gonna choose delay. And then I'm gonna choose um, and and then I'm going to choose Edit Object, okay? I'll go ahead and I'll connect those up real quick. All right. Um, for delay, these are in increments of 60. So every time you put 60, that's equivalent to one second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put 180, and that'll be three seconds. So the delay on this object will be three seconds, and then after three seconds, it'll do whatever we put over here. So under Edit Object, instead of Add Object, I'm going to choose end object all right so after three seconds the object will end all right simple enough if I go ahead and I hit um, P I'll look through my camera here and we'll launch the object test it out and after three seconds it should disappear there it goes so that delay sensor can be used uh, for a variety of different things um, not just ending the object but it's a good one to know about it's pretty easy to use so thank you for watching and look for more tutorials in the future